Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. We're talking about kidney stones, a common and unfortunately painful condition. Kidney stones are collections of minerals, salts, calcium that develop in the urine. And they develop because there's an overabundance or a supersaturation of crystals and not enough fluid. So the stones get stuck up in the urine, in the kidney and they can't get out and they act like a little magnet. And as you get more and more crystals forming in the urine, the stones can get bigger and bigger. What are symptoms to show I have kidney stones? Sometimes people have kidney stones and they have no symptoms whatsoever. But the typical symptoms of kidney stones are pain in the flank or the back, usually accompanied by nausea and vomiting. What is the treatment? Medical expulsive therapy. That's where you put the patients on medication and fluids, let them try and pass it on their own. Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy as well. That's the least invasive going from outside of the body, breaking it up with sound waves. Ureteroscopy with homeom laser, that's invasive going in through the bladder or percutaneous nephrostolithotomy, that's going from outside the body but making a hole through your back into the kidney and taking out the stone that way. And then the most invasive is the anatrophic nephrolithotomy. You hear kidney stones are caused by medication, drinking too much, milk, and are hereditary. Are these true? Rarely are kidney stones related to diet. Back in the day, they used to say if you have calcium stones, you should avoid calcium. But you need calcium for your bones and for your muscles. There are some kidney stones that are hereditary, like cysteine stones. And those stones tend to be hard. And those are the patients who are going to present very young in life if they have cysteine stones. 